Hello everyone, my name is Angelica and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing great. For this week I've prepared three DIY projects in a minimal style and high-end look. Something slightly different that I usually go for as the colors and the shades of this uh, home decoration are much darker than my usual projects. I never really liked too much color and my style was always more on the neutral side but I started falling in love in darker shades and more of the high-end look I think it's nice to include a few pieces of this kind of decoration in any interior style and as always all these projects are easy to make and budget friendly and before I start please click the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and now without any further ado let's jump right into the first project for my first project I've decided to change the look of this small vase which I've bought in charity shop I will upgrade its look by using Erdre clay. I take small piece of the clay and start kneading it between my hands. Clay becomes nice, soft and easy to work with. I divide it into small equal pieces and then I'm kneading each of them again. Then I start rolling it between my hands and move it on the table. I take this piece and place it next to the vase creating little handle on the side. I take another piece of clay and create handle for the opposite side. I try to roll it to the same thickness as the first one. I take slightly smaller piece of clay and I start creating the chain, one loop at a time. I roll it and then connect two ends together. You can make small cuts and use water so it will stick together better. Then I repeat the process creating more loops for my chain. I try to make each loop the same size. I take one end and put it through the first loop and then connect the ends together. I check if the chain is long enough and the handles are in the right shape as that's the last moment when you can change it or fix it. I smooth out the surface of the clay with water and leave it till fully dry. Meanwhile I'm going to paint my vase. I decided to mix brown and black paint together. It creates really nice soil color. And to create some texture on my vase, I'm adding baking soda to my paint. Using soft brush, I apply this paint all over the vase. Once the vase and clay is dry, I can finally attach this chain to my vase. But before that, I'm taking sanding paper and sand down some of the edges of the handle so they will fit nicely to the vase. Using the same paint, I've also painted handles and the chain. To attach handles, I will be using super glue. I think this is the best choice as it will hold it nicely and strong, especially that I'm gluing it to the painted and textured surface. I hold it for a few seconds, making sure the glue starts working and then I go around with the paint to cover up any imperfections. And the chain vase is ready. I really like how it turned out and the soily color of it. You can always uh, use polymer clay and I believe the finish would look even more tidy and stylish. I wanted to create any kind of bookends for such a long time but I never had good idea or the right products. I start with building the first bookend. I place the block on its side. Then I take another one and place it next to it but a few centimeters backwards comparing to the first one. Then I take the third block and place it same way as the first one and so on. 
All together for the bottom part I'm using 6 blocks. Now I'm going level higher and repeat the process starting with moving the first block backwards. And for this level I only use 5 blocks. Then next level with 4 blocks and so on. To connect all pieces together I'm using Gorilla Glue which is perfect for the wood. At first I'm gluing all the blocks together from the same level. I put small amount of the glue in the middle, making sure all blocks are staying in the right position. Because this glue doesn't work straight away, I clamp the blocks together for a few minutes, making sure the glue set up. Then I start gluing together the second level of my bookend. I also make sure that it looks same as the previous one, of course one block less. Once all levels are glued together, I can start building the whole construction again and glue all levels together. But first of all, I have to open the bottle of glue. I leave it for a few minutes to settle and then using black spray paint, I cover it all up. At first I wasn't sure if this light wood will be able to hold the books but it's really strong and does it work perfectly. There is never too many wall arts, so for my next project I'm using this square frame with thin black frame. I've removed the glass from the front, leaving only the back of the frame which will work as my canvas. I move the frame on the side and using white acrylic paint I paint only edges of this back piece, only few centimeters away from the edge. I'm applying few layers of this paint for nicer finish. Once the paint is dry, I put the frame back on for a few seconds. Apart from the black frame, I also want to create white space between the frame and actual painting. Just few centimeters. Of course, I want to keep the same distance from each edge, so I take the ruler and mark few places around the edge. Using paper tape, I cover this space up. Again, I'm making sure it's nice and straight line. To create my abstract art, I will be using Plaster of Paris. I will also need some water, container to mix it in, and few other containers for mixing new colors. I put small amount of plaster and pour water over it. I don't really use any proportions, I just want to achieve consistency which is not too hard and not too runny. You can always add more water or plaster if needed. Just be aware that this plaster dries out so fast, so if you are working on the bigger project, I would recommend making small amounts at the time. So instead of painting over the dry plaster, I've decided to add paint to the wet plaster. It turned out to be a really good idea. I'm using acrylic paints. Using small spatula, I applied thick layer of the first color. I call it abstract art so all tricks and techniques are allowed. Spatula helps me with applying the plaster like also creating this unique texture. I really enjoy doing it as there is no way to ruin it.
Once the whole canvas is covered, I can start removing the tape. I would recommend doing it when the plaster is still wet, otherwise it might crack in some places. And my plaster wall art is ready. I really like the result and I had so much time doing it and I could do it all day long. I think the white edge around the painting adds more of the high-end look. Let me know in the comment section which project was your favorite and if you are going to recreate any of them, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. I love seeing your creations and the own touches you're adding to the projects. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumb up. And for now, thank you so much for watching your support and I will see you in my next video.